This week, a conference on trauma training for elected and community leaders highlighted startling issues with foster care across the nation. Tatiana Cash found out how the Lucas County Children's Services are making sure kids are protected. The trauma training conference at the main library in downtown Toledo touched on the fact some children in foster care struggle with trauma, which can cause major issues into adulthood. Across the U.S., data finds those emancipating without proper assistance and resources are part of the 50 percent involved with the criminal justice system. LCCS's Dana Riley says it's why um, there's a plan. We, we link them with Bridges. They're always going to have their mental health providers. We do have the park and hotel project. There's the homelessness youth task force. No one is saying children in LCCS don't experience trauma. Being taken into care is traumatic. But Riley says the goal is to not let it overcome them. And when the time comes for emancipation, they're ready. Very rare that, you know, we go in there, this kid doesn't have a place to go or anything like that, and they go ahead and emancipate. Um, there has to be some type of plan in place. Trauma Conference co-organizer Mariah Carnoa says this event highlights how there's still more work to be done without pointing the blame. Um, I think Children's Services gets a terrible rap that they're out there to take children, and they're not. They're there to help protect children, provide resources. Adding how they were intentional in the trauma training conference attendees, elected and community leaders, and those in the social work and health care fields. She says they're the front lines to change, and no one person can fix this. I think this is a, a bigger issue from uh, an, a full community system is, is how we are responding. Riley says anyone looking into help should look into mentoring a foster child or fostering themselves. And their foster parents, those placements, they still be a, they're still a support for them and they continue to be a support. Even after all the plans, graduation and emancipation, they're still kids. Tatiana Cash, WDOL 11.